And now I'd like to invite Jennifer Beidel to the stage. And Jennifer, as you're walking up, I am going to brag on you. Jennifer Beidel's journey has taken her from a sheep farm in York, Pennsylvania, to the very forefront of the legal field. Today, as a partner at Dykema Gossett, she leads global teams handling high stakes legal matters. But, and this is perfect, I love this story, it was as a young 4-H member that she decided to attend Penn State, where she earned degrees from the College of Agricultural Sciences and then Dickinson Law. It is so impressive, as an assistant US attorney in the Southern District of New York, Jennifer prosecuted complex fraud and cybercrime cases. She also worked as a criminal defense lawyer and led teams working on litigation in numerous industries. Her accolades include recognition in the best lawyers in America and being named a future star by benchmark litigation. One nominator recalled that Jennifer's legal prowess was evident early on as she flawlessly conducted direct and cross examinations of witnesses in a major case, something apparently rarely seen from younger associates except maybe on TV shows. We'll be talking to someone else about that. Jennifer, thank you for being so involved with Penn State. Thank you for seeking to create opportunities for future generations. She serves on the Agricultural Sciences Alumni Board and established the Flinchbaugh Family Trustee Scholarship for Ag Sciences students with financial needs. That truly touches my heart. We still have campuses where about 50% of the students are first generation college students. Their financial need is high and Penn State makes it possible to transform their lives through higher education. This is the best part. She also remains connected to her roots. She still raises and shows prized sheep, a passion that continues from her earliest days as a Penn State forager. Jennifer, you are an inspiration. Thank you for being a bright star to all of us. Please come on up and we'd love to hear from you. Penn State and my family have been two unending forces in my life, and, and they're both here tonight, so I really appreciate that. I just wanted to give you one anecdote of the way that Penn State sort of unexpectedly has made its way into my life. When I was interviewing to be an assistant United States attorney in the Southern District of New York, which if you don't know, it's one of the more prominent prosecution offices in the country, I was meeting with the then US attorney, Preet Bharara, and he talked about how he had never seen an animal science major apply for this job before. And he hadn't interviewed anyone from Penn State either. And we talked a bit about what animal science meant and how my life had gotten from here to there. And he said, you know, I think you're going to be great for this job. We have horses' asses too, just not the kind you're used to. So with that, I want to thank my family who's here with me tonight, my father, Ed, my in-laws, Elsie and Jackie, who came all the way from Michigan for this, even though I told them they didn't need to, uh, my aunts and uncles, Deanna and Jeff and Linda, my grandmother, Catherine, uh, and of course, last but not least, my husband, Matt, who puts up with all of the types of sheep and other animals I suggest we might buy next. I also want to give a special shout out to my animal sciences advisor, Dr. Cash, and his wife, Willie, who are here with me tonight. And 20 some odd years later, he's still advising me. When he got here tonight, I said, boy, my imposter syndrome is on the rise. There's Emmy nominees here and people who are changing the global economy. And he said, Jen, they all put their pants on one leg at, the t at a time, the same that we do. So. Penn State, I, I just am beyond grateful for this award and for Penn State. And, you know, as was said earlier, I would do anything for this university. We are. <laughs>